On a cold Monday morning in 1962, in another time, two starry-eyed teenagers stood before a judge in Halifax, North Carolina, and pledged their love and devotion to one another. There were no beautiful decorations, expensive clothes, or even a wedding cake. Just a blue and white 55 Chevy, $100, and an abundance of youthful love. Jim and Sue Keaton could not have known that from their union would come nine children, 41 grandchildren, 36 great-grandchildren, and counting. They could not have envisioned in those early days that the call of God would lead them down a path of ministry which would span the United States and the world. For as long as I can remember, our parents and our family have been peppered with questions like, how in the world did you cope with the demands of such a large family? How did your marriage survive? How did you balance family and ministry? How is it that your children have followed your lead in passion for God and His kingdom? Our parents answer these questions and others in a new memoir called Another Time. In this memoir, I have attempted to tell parts of their story as they told it to me. Jim and Sue Keaton would never claim to have all the answers. The Keaton family is far from perfect. Their prayer and mine is that when you turn the final page of this book, you will know that there is a God worthy of your utmost devotion and that in this time, in this day, He has an important role for you to fill in His kingdom and in the world.